it's in a weird position, just kind of up there. Right. It's kind of deceptive to see how large this beetle is. Good sized. Sunset Ruby Road. right here. Oh, there's a beetle. Gonna land right there. Same kind of beetle. Right up there on top. wasp here. We'll be finding a place to rest for the night. There's a crab spider kind of making its way down the branch here. Can't quite see it anymore. Oak apple, oak gall. Some evidence here of something nibbling. Where'd he go? I think that beetle just landed on my back. Oh, got a sphinx moth here. Coming in. And some more of these beetles here, these May or June beetles. And you can see what's going on there. Mating pair. Get right in there. Have a look. Pretty awesome to see some of these things. Not yet. Oh, there's another one landing, a smaller species. Oh, and there's a Pepsis wasp. Get up here and take a look at it. Beautiful blue wasps with orange wings. And what's it doing? Looks like it's nibbling at an acorn, maybe? Beautiful orange wings, almost metallic, with the black tips. I think that about does it for this tree. Sounds like everybody might be working back to the car. So it's time for me to go. Sometimes wonder what all these beetles and bugs are doing when they're not flying to our black light sheets. Got a nice June beetle here. And you see it nibbling there on the tips of this oak leaf. Pretty good sized. But with all the bugs that we see at the sheets, it just seems like there would be so many more things out at night feeding. There's a robber fly. Hear that noise off in the background? It's a pretty cool exotic noise. And 
no idea what that would be. Nope, can't put them in that. So the Canopus is right here. Oh yeah. Canopus palmeri. It is a cactus eating longhorn, but it actually can fly. Unlike the Monolemia armatum. Oh. And the other Monolemia up top there, which are flightless. But they're all longhorn beetles. That one's got that white stripe on his antenna and the notches on the pronotum. Yeah, very nice. So, we'll get the flyer first. And the other ones, I'll need something for me. And potentially a stick. We'll see. The first one here, I think I can get just my hands. But... Nailed it. Second one. I'm going to need some help from the studio audience. I got you right here, too, if you want. I'm going to see. Peter, I think I'm coming your way just so you know. So if it lands on your Oh, shirt. you're flicking? You make it look so easy. Have you done that before? Uh, I think once, but it was for <laughs> charity, so it doesn't count. All right, just found this spider here, and I have never seen an orb weaver like this before. It's like a stegosaurus. Look at those spikes on its head. Let me see if I can get around here. A little bit better. Well, there's a roach there that I actually want to collect first. This one here. Close look at that. Can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Put it in this container. I think it's a male, but I think we collected a female of it the other day and now we'll go in for this spider here. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Wow. 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 I just am blown away by this spider here. I'm trying to get in there without shaking around here too much. Um, that is really strange. Up here a little bit more. All right. Look at the spikes on that abdomen. This is truly unusual in my experience. And we have a beetle that has just flown into the web. And the spider. The spider is definitely taking an interest in it. Jesse, oh. you gotta see this this oh, spider. Wow. Whoa. I just had a bug in my ear, so I had to lose focus there for a second. Wow, we just took this little beetle down in the web too because the uh, headlamp. I'm gonna let you get in there and take a look at it because it's a really amazing spider. I'm going to actually collect that. Yeah, time. yeah. But I would like to see it closer up here anyway. And I would, wow. yeah, I know that Jessica would want to see that. She Absolutely. I, before you collect it, can I take a picture? Yeah. It's a okay. dinosaur. That's like, that, that, I mean, yeah. Can you hold that like, what if that lays eggs? How amazing would that be? Yeah, that would be cool. Here's a, <laughs> here's a black uh, bee assassin. You going to catch it? Oh, I'm going to take a video of it here real quick. It's hard to catch things when I you have your camera on. Got the yeah. camera on, yeah. That's why I never have my camera on. Oh, and there's something else interesting right there. Oh, and there's something else interesting right there. Oh, okay. slender, oh a stick bug. Huh. Slender spider. I can see that stick bug from all the way from here. You can see a stick bug here? Where? <coughs> yeah, man. I don't see that. Right there. Oh wow. Just oh wow. One Come thing. on, man. I've... One thing after another. If it's colors that I miss, it's because I can see shapes. <laughs> That's right. Right there, a stick insect. And then back here, a very interesting plant hopper. So, I get 
past the fence oh, here. My gosh. Oh, only the coolest four oh, yeah. So many bugs. Oh yeah. That's Holy so shit, cool. that's awesome. That is amazing. If that yeah. oh sorry. Let's yeah, go right. need some orb weavers we get in Florida. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gastrocantha cankerformis. So. Yep, spiny backed orb weavers. They call them crab spiders down there a lot. Yeah. Yep. Well, that was a hot little spot for things. A little rock flipping. I can notice a stick, a stick insect from like 20 feet away, but I won't be able to notice the vacuum cleaner right in front of my face at home. Well, if you notice it, someone's going to expect you to use it. Exactly. And I just, you know, my brain just washed it up. Oh, Jesse, check this out. Oh, boy. Oh, how amazing. Wow, is that a scale insect? Nope. <coughs> or a bagworm? You got it. <coughs> oh. Swallow a bug? Yep. So, I don't know oh, if it's a pupa. Also, the yeah. larvae will attach these things to them, and uh, they're camouflaging in there. But adult females of some species will stay in that the entire time. There's another stick insect. Peter, come, come get video of this massive grass spider. And this thing's big. Where's it at? Right here in the open. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's a big grass spider. Yep. Um, looks like an adult male. Bye-bye. Yeah, he ran off. Yeah. Moth steals the show. <clears throat> cool to find that bagworm. Yeah, that was neat. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, I was looking for a Oh, wow. Hey, Jesse, have you seen bagworm moth before? The larval cases. These things. Oh, yeah, actually. They, There's a little weevil sitting on there, too. And tons of stuff like that in the. Look, well, not that exact one, but very similar ones that were like twig built. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is in New Mexico. I mean, like hundreds of them on like a series of pen trees. Right. Crazy. They're a little bigger than that, but built out of twigs and kind of hay. Yeah, I think maybe they add on as they grow or something. I've seen, that's the smallest one I've ever seen. I'm assuming this is a crapper, but it's coming back loose, so I grabbed it. Oh, yeah. Nice. If you don't want it to, if we release it. What is it? A little mantis. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the fatter boy. Oh, he'll turn this. More than likely, anyway. Yeah. yeah. What else? Good. Thank you. What else could it be? The sound of flipping rocks. Oh, you did? Yeah, I found that guy. Oh, here's one of these really cool the body shape on these spiders. Can't quite remember what they are, but very cool.
Yep, I was tempted to look at these trees too. They were calling, weren't they? Yep. Field crickets. Little maybe. What am I looking for on those trees? Anything that moves, really. I mean, is there anything in particular we can find? Um, not necessarily. We've got a little jumping spider in here. You know, we just kind of, we just kind of check things out. We just look everywhere and, uh, did you hear that noise? I don't know what it was. Um, you just don't know until you see it. You mm -hmm. know, we're looking for spiders or beetles. Um, we're on a trip, you know, we don't live down here. And so it's always kind of a surprise. Mm. We just look very carefully. You see this uh, assassin bug right here? Yeah. Just little zealous. It's similar to the ones that we get up in Oregon. I don't know if you've seen the green ones that we have up there. No, but I, the I've seen wings. some in Montreal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this one's an immature. I and, actually uh, tried to raise that one and it got eaten by a worm. It had a parasite. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Did did the uh, worm exit? Oh, here's a beetle right here. Did the worm exit the uh, assassin bug's body, and then uh, you found a pupa in the in the container? Uh, you you should ask Ev. Uh, she's she's the one who found it. Uh, okay. Dead. <laughs> oh, okay. She just told me she saw something, so there was probably mm -hmm. a, some kind of worm. Mm -hmm. Little beetle down there. Little grasshopper mm -hmm. here. Yep. Hello. And then something right here. I don't know. That could be grasshopper poop. I thought maybe it was beetles, but it looks it looks wet and like the kind of thing that would stick to your finger if you touched it. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, John? I'm pretty quiet. Little inchworm action. That thing just. Yeah. Let's walk on up here and. See what everybody else is finding. We're down here by Pena Blanca Lake. In one of the adjacent campground areas. You hear that? Jesse's talking about Courtney. Courtney, you're not forgotten. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.